Hello everyone. So we will continue our data engineer interview preparation part and in this video we are going to solve couple of python coding question which is generally asked in interview. We are starting with the basic question and then slowly we will increase the difficulty level also but these are the important question which is generally asked in interview. So let's solve one by one. So our first question is like to remove a duplicate from a list. So they will give you list like this and what actually they will say you have to remove a duplicate from a list. So you can see in this particular list we have a multiple values right. One is present multiple times similarly two is present multiple times and what we have to do we have to remove a duplicate from a given list. So how actually we can write a code for that. So what I will do first I will try to loop it for i in nums. I am trying to loop it for i in nums. And what I will do, I will try to create a new list L. Like this, I will create a new list, and here only the unique value I will try to store. So what I will check if i not in L. If i not in L, then what I will do? L dot append i. And uh, let's see if we are getting the proper result or not. Then I will explain you L. What actually I am doing? You can see L. We are getting only the unique value 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So multiple values was present, right? That actually we have removed. So what actually I am doing? I am creating a new list and after that I am looping the all the values one by one. And after that I am checking if i is present into this list or not. If i is already present, then I will not append, otherwise I will append. For taking example, first first one will come, right? First one will it will check whether one is present into this list or not. One is not present, then it has appended into this list. Then it will check two whether two is present into list or not. Two is not present, then it will append. Then it will check three whether three is present into this list or not. Three is not present, then it will append. After that again two will come. Two it will check whether two is present into the list or not. Two is already present, right? Then what actually it will do? It will skip this value and it will check the uh, next value. So like this actually it is happening and it is only appending the unique value into this list. There are multiple ways uh, which we can follow but this is one of the way. Now second question is like you have to find the largest element in a list. So you can see this is the list which is given and from this given list we have to find what is the largest element. So you can see 55 is the largest element right. So we should get a output as a 55. How actually we can solve? So I will create one variable max and what I will say L 0. So what I am saying whatever the first value right and by default I am saying like this is the maximum value. The first value I am saying L0 means this particular value is the maximum value and after that what I will do I will try to loop for i in L if i is greater than max. If i is greater than max then what I will do max equal to the i. Let me print what is the maximum value we are getting. Let me execute this. You can see 55 we are getting. Let me make this as a 66 and let's execute this whether we are getting 66 or not. You can see 66 we are getting. So what actually I am doing? By default I am considering maximum value is the first value and I am trying to loop all the values. If any of the values greater than this uh, first value then that particular value I am making as a maximum and finally I am printing the max. So like this actually we can find out the largest element. Next question is like count the word frequency in a given string. So they have given one paragraph or string you can say and what actually we have to find? We have to find the number of time this particular uh, word is present. So you can see data is present three times. Similarly engineer present multiple times right. So you have to count how many times this particular word is present. So that is uh, our question. So how actually we can solve this? So what I will do? First I will try to convert this text into a list. So how actually we can do that? So I will write L equal to the text dot split. If I will print L right and let's see what is the output we are getting. Let's see whether we are getting the whether, whether we are getting the list or not. So you can see based on the paragraph it's splitted and you can see data then engineer then data like this actually it is coming. Now we have to find out how many time data is present engineer is present that actually we have to count. So how actually we can solve this? So I will create one dictionary like this and after that I will loop it uh, for i in l if i in d then what I will do if i in d then I will make di plus equal to 1 else 
डी आई इक्वल टू वन लेट मी प्रिंट डी आई एम क्रिएटिंग वन डिक्शनरी लेट सी वी आर गेटिंग आउटपुट और नॉट सो वाट इज द आउटपुट वी आर गेटिंग लेट्स मी सो यू सो दिस प्रिंट लेट मी कमेंट दिस एंड लेट मी एक्सिक्यूट अगेन एंड लेट सी वाट इज द आउटपुट वी आर गेटिंग सो यू कैन सी इट इज सेंग डेटा इज प्रेजेंट थ्री टाइम इंजीनियर इज प्रेजेंट टू टाइम पाइथॉन इज प्रेजेंट वन टाइम एंड द सिक्वल इज प्रेजेंट वन टाइम सो वाट वी हैव डन फर्स्ट वाट एवर द स्ट्रिंग वाट एवर द पैराग्राफ टेक्स इज गिवन राइट फर्स्ट वी आर ट्राइंग टू कन्वर्ट इन टू अ लिस्ट बेस ऑन देयर स्पेस वैल्यू एंड आफ्टर दैट आई एम क्रिएटिंग वन डिक्शनरी एंड इन इन दिस डिक्शनरी वाट आई एम राइटिंग फॉर आई इन एल मीन्स ऑल द वैल्यू वन बाय वन चेकिंग इफ दिस वैल्यू इज ऑलरेडी प्रेजेंट इन टू अ डी राइट सपोज फर्स्ट डेट फर्स्ट इट इट विल चेक डेटा वेदर डेटा इज प्रेजेंट और नॉट डेटा इज नॉट प्रेजेंट दैन वाट एक्चुअली इट विल राइट डेटा एंड द वन ना सेकेंड टाइम वेन इट विल चेक द डेटा राइट इट विल चेक वेदर द डेटा इज ऑलरेडी प्रेजेंट इन टू डी और नॉट इट इज ऑलरेडी प्रेजेंट राइट दैन इट विल इंक्रीज द नंबर एस अ टू एंड थ्री सो लाइक दैट द वी आर स्टोरिंग द की वाट एवर द वैल्यू वी हैव राइट दैट एक्चुअली वी आर स्टोरिंग एस अ की एंड हाउ मेनी टाइम इट इज प्रेजेंट इट इज प्रेजेंट दैट एक्चुअली वी आर इंक्रीजिंग बाई वन सो एक्चुअली यू कैन सॉल्व लाइक हाउ मेनी टाइम दिस नंबर इज प्रेजेंट और नॉट दिस इज वन ऑफ द वे बट देर आर मल्टीपल वे थ्रू विच ऑल्सो यू कैन सॉल्व दिस सो डू प्रैक्टिस नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज लाइक वी हैव टू फाइंड अ फैक्टोरियल ऑफ अ नंबर वाट इज अ फैक्टोरियल सो सपोज आई हैव टू फाइंड आउट द फैक्टोरियल ऑफ फाइव then what actually it will happen 5 into 4 into uh, 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 if i'll do i'll get the factorial of 4 5 that is a 120 similarly if i have to find out the factorial of 4 then what actually i have to write 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 that will be a factorial of 4 so like this actually factorial works right now we have to write a code for that and we have to calculate what is the 4 factorial that is a 24 so how actually we can write i will create one function factorial and and what i will write um i will check if n equal equal to 0 if n equal equal to 0 then what i will do return 1 else n into else return n into fact n minus 1 n minus one. Now, if I'll just check any of the factorial, suppose I want to check factorial five, then I should get one twenty. If I'll check factorial four, I'll get a twenty four. So this is a recursive method. But suppose they are saying like you do not have to use a recursive method, then how actually you can use that? And then what I will do? I'll create a new function factorial without recursive method. I'm trying to show you how actually we can do that. So I am creating one factorial function n, and here I will just declare one variable result equal to the one, and what I will check for i in range one n plus one. I am checking. I am starting with a one and n plus one till n I will go, and what I will do result equal to A result, whatever result we have declared, right? I will just try to into means, and I will try to return a result. Result. Let me show you. Then I will explain you how, what actually I am doing. Factorial five. It should be a one twenty. One twenty. So what actually I am doing for i in range one to n plus one means. If I'll do print right, if I'll do print i here, so what actually I'm looping? I'm looping one, two, three, four, five. Now suppose one we get. What actually here I'm doing? One into one I am doing. Second time two will come. Then two into whatever the result value it will multiply. Similarly three will come right. Three into whatever the result value. So like this actually multiplication I am doing. I'm trying to find out the factorial. Means it's working like this. Suppose five into four, five into four into three into two. Like this, actually, it is working. So, like this, also we can find out the uh, factorial of uh, any given number. So, these are the two ways through which actually you can do that. 
next is the reverse a string without using a inbuilt function suppose this is the given a list and you have to reverse a list so one way is like directly you can use like this and if you will execute you will get this result but suppose they are saying like is there any other way through which actually you can reverse then how actually we can write so what I will write I will create a new variable str I will make the blank and what I will do I will try to loop it for i in a and what I will do str equal to the i plus str str and I will just print the str let's see it's working or not you can see it got reverse whatever the string got reverse so I'm creating one blank uh, string and I'm looping one all the value and after that what actually I'm doing I'm doing the plus from this value to this str so you can see it got reverse so like this actually we can reverse any of the string now next question is like check if the number is a prime number or not so what is a prime number so we have a 2 3 and a 5 and the 7 11 13 these are the prime number which is divisible by itself or 1 so you can see 13 is divisible by 13 only and 1 right so these are the prime number so you have to check whether the given number is a prime number or not so how actually you can write a code for that so what I will write I will create a new function prime df prime n and after that I will check if n is less than or equal to 1 then I will just return false means that is not a, a prime number otherwise I will check for i in range 2 n I will loop I will start a loop from a 2 to n and I will check if n is divisible by any of the number and the remainder is 0 it means that is a prime number means it is divisible by any of the number it means that is a prime number so that number is not a prime number otherwise I will return a true I will return a, a true so let's check uh, if I write prime 13 so what actually we are doing we are starting a loop from a 2 to n what is n n is 13 right it means 2 to 12 it will check if 2 to 12 if any of the number is divisible by this right it means that is not a prime number if any of the number from 2 to 12 it is not divisible by this means that is a prime number so that is the logic I have applied and you can see see 13 is the prime number similarly if you will check for the 12 right 12 is divisible so it should be a false you can see 12 is not a prime number next question is like print a even number from a list so this is the list given we have to find the even number from a list so what I will write for I will create a new list L and what I will do for I in A if I percentage 2 equal equal to 0 means these are the even number right then I will just try to append it L dot append I L dot append I I will just print L let me execute let me execute whether it's working or not so what actually we are doing we are checking if the it is divisible by 2 means that is a even number right and that we are storing here so 2 4 6 8 10 you can see these are the numbers so try to do practice of all this question because these are the important one and if you will do practice then only you will get an idea uh, so yeah do practice